Fractional decimal to octal conversion or fractional octal to decimal conversion is just a two step process and in this video we are going to do that. So without wasting time let's get started. So first of all we will take one fraction decimal number so this is our number and we are going to convert this number into octal number. So here first we will take this whole number part 948 and we will keep this fraction number part aside for some time and we will convert this section into second step. To convert this decimal number into octal we suppose to repeatedly divide this number by 8 and we should keep track of the remainders we get in the division. Now the question is why we should divide it by 8 because from decimal to which number system we are transferring we are transferring to octal number system and the base of octal number system is 8. So ultimately we are dividing this decimal number by the base of whatever number system we are going to transfer. So now let's divide this number by 8. So we are going to divide 948 by 8. So simply 1188 are 944 and when we subtract these two we will get remainder as 4. So here 118 is our quotient so we are going to write quotient over here and this 4 is remainder. So 944 minus 948 gives us 4 in remainder. So we are going to write this remainder over here. Now again we will do the same process we are going to divide this 118 by 8. So 14 8s are 112 and the remainder we will get as 6. 118 minus 112 gives us 6. So again we will write 14 quotient over here and 6 as reminder over here. So again we will do the division 8 ones are 8, 14 minus 8 that gives us 6. So remainder is 6 and quotient is 1. Now again if you try to divide this 1 by 8, now you can no more further divide this number by 8. So we will write this 1 over here. And now we will combine all these remainders and write this number from bottom to top. And that will give us octal equivalent to this binary number. So 948 is equal to 1664 in octal. Now it's time for the fraction number part. For whole number part we have divided this decimal number by 8. Whereas in fraction number part we are going to multiply this number by 8. So 0 0.54 into 8 gives us 4.32. So out of this 4.32 we will take this whole number 4 over here. So what remains 0 0.32. So again we will multiply 0 0.32 by 8. That gives us 2.56. So again we will take this whole number 2 aside and the remaining 0 0.56 will multiply it with 8. That gives us 4.48. Again we will take this whole number 4 aside and you can keep on multiply the remaining number with 8. So now the question is up to which number you should keep on multiplying it with 8. So the answer is until you reach any whole number from 1 to 7 you should keep on progressing. And many times it happens that you are not going to reach any whole number and you will keep on getting this type of fraction number. So in that case you can move up to which digit accuracy you want. If you want 3 digit accuracy you can move 3 steps. If you want 5 digit accuracy you can move for 5 steps. So what accuracy level you expect from your conversion up to that level you should move. Here we are moving up to 3 levels only. And now we are going to combine all these whole numbers to convert this decimal number into octal number. And for that you are supposed to write these numbers from top to bottom like this. So the first 4 is this. This 2 over here and the final 4 is this. So this is the octal equivalent to this 0.54 decimal number. Now combine these two numbers together and we will get the final result. That is 1664.424. Just remember one thing for whole number part you should write from bottom to top and for fraction number part you should write from top to bottom. Now wait for a moment and answer the question. What is the octal equivalent to this decimal number 35.19? Your options are A and B. Quickly solve it and write the answer in comments and let's see how many of you get the right answer. Now let's move ahead. This is a time to convert fractional octal number into decimal number. 
for that we'll take one fraction octal number so this is our fractional octal number here also we'll first deal with the whole number part and we'll keep this fraction number part aside for some time so this is our fraction number part we are keeping it aside for some time and we are going with the whole number part in order to convert the octal number into decimal number we should start with the right most number the ones place then the tens hundreds and thousands place so here we are going to multiply this number with 8 to the power 0 then this number will be multiplied by 8 to the power 1 then 8 to the power 2 and then 3 now the simple question is why we are multiplying this number with 8 to the power something not 7 5 or 10 why 8 only the reason behind this is this number is in which system this is in octal system and what is the base of octal number system the base of octal number system is 8 and that is why we are using 8 over here so now let's multiply 8 to the power 0 into 3 so 1 into 3 8 to the power 1 into 5 so 8 into 5 then 8 raised to 2 into 4 64 into 4 8 raised to 3 into 1 5 1 2 into 1 and then finally add all these numbers together 5 1 2 plus 2 5 6 plus 40 plus 3 and the summation of this is 8 1 1 so finally the 8 1 1 is the decimal equivalent to 1 4 5 3 octal number now it's time for the fractional number part now we'll write the fraction number part number that is 7 2 and in fraction number part we'll start with the left most digit that is 7 so we'll multiply this 7 with 8 to the power minus 1 then next digit 8 to the power minus 2 if there is next digit then 8 to the power minus 3 and so on so now 8 to the power minus 1 into 7 is 1 upon 8 into 7 and the next is 1 upon 64 into 2 so we'll solve this and get 0 0.875 and if we solve this, we'll get 0 0.03125. Now finally, we're supposed to add both these numbers together and the answer is 0 0.90625. So this is the decimal equivalent to this 0 0.72 octal number. And now finally, we are going to add both these numbers together and we'll get fractional decimal equivalent to this fractional octal number. So that's how you can convert fractional octal number into decimal number. Now solve this example right now and write the answer in comments and check if the answer is right or wrong. Like this the decimal to hexadecimal conversion is also very important and very easy to learn and if you want to learn that click on the video on your display. Here is the video and to explore more on digital electronics with animated videos visit on our this playlist. So see you into the next video.